Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, you'll have to excuse the noise from outside. Um, I've got construction going on next door and it is very, very noisy. Um, I've been trying to film all morning and it's only now that the um, construction noise has calmed down a little bit that I can even get it done. It's, they've been jackhammering right outside my window, so um, that hasn't been able to happen. Um, today is Vlogmas Day 9, um, so of my Vlogmas series, and today I've got a cash stuffing video. So let's get started. Okay, so today I've got $515 to cash stuff into my envelopes. Uh, so let's count this first. Uh, this is the biggest one I've had for quite a while. 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 10, 5, 10, 15. So 515. Okay, so let's do my coin rollover, uh, coin and my rollover from last week uh, before we start. So in my fuel envelope, I've got $40 and in my grocery envelope, I have got $10. So 50 all up and I'll put that aside and I'll do um, a rollover video with my bonus um, money. That will be one of my other Vlogmas videos. Now my coins. Got a few coins today. Okay. Now I've got a couple of special ones um, amongst this. I've got a 2019 Wallabies coin. So I'm going to put that one aside. And there's also this one. A 2001 N in the um, Great Aussie Coin Hunt series. And this one is N for Nobby's Nuts. So I'm going to put that one separate as well. And then I'll count the rest of this. I've got $10.45 in that one today. Uh, so I'll show you what I actually do with my coins. I keep my coins every week um, and add them to my money box at every cash stuffing. And then at the end of the month, I empty my money box and I um, turn it into notes and put it into one of my savings challenges. So I'll just show you my money box. If you've seen my reels, um, you will have seen this. Um, yeah, so it just got, puts all the coins in individual amounts. So I'm just going to put these coins in today just to show you what I do with it all. Um, I usually do a real each week um, with this, but today I'm just going to add it in. So I've got so much content going out to you, I don't need to do that. Okay. Okay, so... I'll do 120 for my groceries. Uh, 40 in to fuel. I do each week. Uh, now into my envelopes. I need to get. $20 goes into my internet. Um, I paid that this week just gone, so um, that's empty. And I'm back to the beginning of that one now. Um, now I'm going to be starting a new category this week. Um, so that is, I'm going to have $25 that's going to go off my zip pay debt. Um, this is not a debt that I've mentioned before, um, and I'm going to. I usually just pay the minimum payments that I have to make each month on this one. Um, and sometimes I use reuse the, the money that I've paid off that um, if I'm having a tighter week. Um, but 
as soon as I get back from my vacation, I've, um, I'm going to be making a big effort to get that one completely paid off and cancelled so that I don't have that one anymore. I find when I use my Afterpay that um, I pay that off really quickly and I don't have any issues with that one. But with the ZipPay, because you don't have to make certain payments, I just tend not to. So that's the only sort of line of credit that I've got um, other than my Afterpay, which I don't usually use. I'm just using it at the moment. Um, to be able to buy my Christmas presents earlier and stuff when they're on special and things like that. So I haven't actually created an envelope for this one yet. Um, so I'm going to um, make an envelope today and I'll show you that once I've made that. But I'm just going to put this one aside until I've done that. Um, let's see. So birthdays, I'm going to put in $45. Um, that's my birth, my daughter's birthday in the 19th. So I've been putting money aside for that. I've already bought most of her birthday present. Um, I did that during the sales and stuff as well. So it's really just um, money for going out for tea and just finishing off her gift and her cake. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 95 in there now. So that's good. I'll be ready for that one as soon as that one gets here. Um, then I have got uh, hair. So I'm going to put $20 in my hair envelope. Um, I need to get my hair done before Christmas. Um, I have terrible grey regrowth. Um, I used to get my hair done once every four weeks, uh, but uh, since Christmas last year I had to change my hairdresser and now it's a lot more expensive. Um, my daughter is a apprentice hairdresser, um, but she's only just sort of starting to learn how to colour. So um, I usually go to TAFE and get it done, and it costs me about $30. Um, but unfortunately, because TAFE's finished for the year, I'm going to have to get it done at the salon, so it's going to be a lot more expensive. So I'm just going to put some money away, and hopefully I'll have that time to get that done before Christmas. If not, that's fine. We'll just work with it. <laughs> Um, and I also have, I've got $10 um, to go and I'll put this in my old envelope, which I have not, I guess what else when I think that I've done all the envelopes that I need to do. Um, I've got another one for my daughter, um, so I'm going to put $10 in there. Um, and yeah, that'll be another envelope that I'll make when I do my... Um, so pay one. So, okay, so next I'm going to um, put some more money into my Christmas savings challenge. Um, so I'm going to have $60, which I'm going to put in there. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do two twenties and two tens. So I need eight and nine and nineteen and twenty. So I colour those four in. So close to finishing my Christmas challenge now. So that is thirty forty dollars. Oh forty-five dollars. Sorry, can't add up. <laughs> um so that's really close now to to finishing that off. So sorry, nine and ten. Um yeah, so once I've got in that my next video will be uh, my bonus money uh, video that's what's going to be next and so in that one I'll be finishing my savings challenge I cannot believe that apart from I think this is the first week so today's pay is the first pay that I've actually put uh, budgeted money 
into this envelope and that's going to be $375. So 315 of this money is bonus money and that's just amazing. Um, I've never had another Christmas like it. I can't believe um, next, I think I worked out yesterday, next pay, um, I will have fully funded my Christmas. I just can't believe it. I've never been so, and that's everything, absolutely every little thing that um, I need for Christmas. And I cannot believe it. This using this system has made such a big difference um, to how I do things. I just can't wait for next year when I will have done the whole year um, doing this. I really, I've been doing this method for a long time, but I've had periods where I've gone off it. I sometimes I forget um, to do my, do it on payday and then I spend some of it and I have to rearrange and, um, but I've been really careful with doing it on payday when everything has to be done um, recently and it's made all the difference in the world. So next I should have $175, so $140, left. So with that, I'm going to go into this savings challenge, which actually is my vacation money. Um, some of it I've put in the bank, um, and the rest of it I'm just got in here. I've got my... Um, envelopes ready to show you so that'll be a, a video very shortly and then I'll show you stuff in this into my envelopes um, so I've got 20 30 40 50 60 80 100 dollars in or there already and then I've got 175 Let's put that all together I'll try counting that again we get all together so 50 100 120 140 160, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 265 is what I've got in there. Um, so yeah, I, once I get um, that video up for you, I'll show you um, my vacation envelope. So um, the next few weeks, there'll be a lot going into my vacation budget. So um, you'll be able to see that um, all come together and yeah, it's really exciting. Okay, uh, so that's the end of my cash stuffing. Um, so with my flybys this week, um, I used $60 of my flybys um, rewards points and that pretty much wiped me out. Um, but I have managed to get back up to $29 saved in that. Um, I've had some boosters and I have done some surveys so that's got me up to $29 again with my everyday rewards I earned another $10 voucher and I think that one's up to $110 still left in there and I used $50 of my points this week um so I've just been working really hard to try and get those built back up I will also I'm on week three of my Coles um uh, challenge so I have to spend $50 for four weeks and I get a $50 voucher so that'll get that at the end of next week which is good. Um, I also received a $20 KSafe voucher um, from using my KSafe app. Um, and I'm going to use that at Coles um, for this week to save. So hopefully I won't um, I'll only have to spend 2 or $3 at Coles, which is awesome. Um, my receipt jar this week I got 205 points. Um, I'll have my code below if you'd like to use the referral code. You get 200 points, I get 200 points when you scan your first receipt. Um, so that I'm at 96% um, of what I need to be to get my $50 voucher. So that hopefully will be next week. I'll get a $50 voucher from there. Um, my shop back, I didn't actually spend anything on shop back um, this week. I haven't done any online shopping um, this week. I'm just waiting until I finish off my Christmas budget this um like my whole christmas budget will be paid off next pay um so i'll start doing um i'll finish my challenge off um in my next video and i'll start using that to do the rest of my shopping and then i'll finish that off next week so i might have a little bit more in my shop back next week um with my 
to post at Adipulse surveys. I have not done a huge amount. I think I've earned about seven or eight dollars all up. Every little bit helps though. Um, so I've just got that banked in there and I'll cash that out at some point. I'll also have the referral links below if you'd like to um, sign up using that. And we both get benefits for, for doing that as well. And with my Etsy store, um, I've added a new 25 envelope challenge um, into there. Um, so you can go and check that out. I'll have the link below. Um, I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek of that one. Um, so this one is pink and purple. Um, I've got a selection of the envelopes. These are all really cute. Um, pinks and purples. Um, and yeah, they're all, all numbered. Um, and they will come with a tracker. I haven't actually put the tracker in this one. Um, it's the same as my Christmas one. Um, I don't want this one. So yeah, it's the same as this one. You can have it blank, um, at whatever amount you'd like and make each envelope whatever you like, or I have it at the 375. I just find that the smaller amounts are easier to achieve and then you can just, um, Keep doing them over and over um so i've just finished my christmas one and then if you tune into my next video you'll see what i'm going to change my christmas one into um, now that christmas christmas is done so i'm going to put this one away and i'm going to start a new one um so i think that's everything for this week thank you for watching um it's it's been great to actually get my um, vacation going again um, that came to a bit of a, a stall point there. Um, so if you could leave a plain emoji in the comments below to show me that you watched it till the end. And thank you very much for watching my video and um, supporting my Vlogmas series. Stay tuned tomorrow for day 10 of Vlogmas. Um, and we'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.